Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Action Trailers Tutorials. I'm Shane Thompson, and today we're gonna to do a tutorial on our Mennonite series steel landscape trailers. Now these trailers behind me come very robust. They come with a lot of options that are standard that I'm gonna show you what makes them different from our competition. You can get them in single axles or tandem axle series. We're gonna look at the tandem axle series right now, and you'll see there's different sizes behind me. They come standard with all the features I'm gonna show you, and then they can be upgraded with higher sides or different gates in the back, depending on what your usage is. So starting from the front of the trailer, we're gonna look at the framing. We use a triple tube tongue. So not only is it a tubular tongue frame, which the wiring all hides up into, so nothing's exposed to elements of the weather, but it's triple tube, meaning that there's a center beam in the middle for extra strength. You want something that's very stout, that's gonna last, and that's the reason why we start with a frame and build up. You'll see here they put an adjustable coupler on some of the tandem axle series models, which is nice, so you can change it from a pinto ring or your ball coupler. Notice the tongue jack, it's set further back, so that way when you lower your tailgate, it's not gonna hit it. And it's also a flip-up jack, so you're not having to crank as much. These models come with a dime-plated front and dime-plated aluminum fenders, which is a really cool upgrade that companies will charge you extra for, but not on these models. Why do we do this? Because stones are gonna kick back from your vehicle, they're gonna hit the front, and they're gonna chip away the paint. So now that's aluminum, so that way it's not gonna be chipping away and wrecking it. And not only that, it looks sharp. See the actual front bulkhead, heavier built as well too. On top of the actual tie-down rail, there's you'll see that there's 17 inches high. So you get the tie-down rail, plus tie downs inside the trailer. So there's lots of tie down points. That's another thing that a lot of companies will neglect. Of course, in their pricing point, tie downs will be always an extra feature. Not with these trailers, anywhere from four, six or eight tie downs, depending on the length of the trailer, you're gonna get welded inside plus the railing. The side height is standard 17 inches. We do have the optional 28 inches that's shown over here. These tandem axle series all come with electric brakes on one axle with electric breakaway kit. You'll see the aluminum fenders, again, same thing for longevity, that's why we put the aluminum fender upgrade on it. And the wheels are 15 inch wheel. So they're 15 inch wheel compared to 14 inch, which a lot of companies will use, with a powder coated silver rim rather than your cheaper white rim. And the tires are a nice radial, so they're a better compound, they're gonna last much longer. On the side of the trailer, as far as paint, we upgrade the paint right off the bat. So the paint, the process is an acid wash, then it's primed, then it's powder coated. A lot of trailers you'll see in the industry neglect these three processes and that's why they're rusting away in the first year or two. So unfortunately, obviously we live in Ontario, so there's always gonna get rust with salt and calcium chloride on the roads, but having a better paint process, which is acid wash, primed, then powder coated, is gonna certainly last much longer. And that's what we do standard. Get a straight back ramp gate standard with spring assist on these larger models. You can have an optional bifold or split gate. So it depends on what you want. The ramp gates, they're rated for around 3,000 pounds standard. And we do offer reinforced gates depending on what you're hauling. You'll see the lights are all built in the frame on these models as well. So having the lights built in, not only are going to, of course, not be um, out sticking out, which is gonna be uh, usually standard for people damaging uh, as far as when they're backing up because they're exposed and all the wires are exposed, but having them built in, it's gonna just for longevity wise, last a lot longer. And these pins on the back, they're spring loaded. So they're not just your standard pin that you end up putting in the back gate. Other cool features on these trailers that you can get are gonna be a toolbox at the very front, spare tire brackets, but those are just optional as again, depending on what you need. All these features I'm showing you today are standard. Same with the lights, lights are all LED. You don't need to upgrade for that. So hope you guys get a better idea of just the standard features on these models. Not only are they built tough, they're built locally, but they're built to last. So at the end of the day, you can check out more information at www.actiontrailers.ca. Going to build a trailer, see specs, other videos, or pop by the dealership. But we certainly appreciate you watching today's tutorial.